Good morning. My name is Andrew White. I'm a Farm Bill Wildlife Biologist with Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever here in Missouri. Today we're standing out in a CP38 field um, that was planted several years ago. Um, one thing with CP38 is designed uh, specifically for quail in mind. Um, there's several different versions of CP38 safe that you can do uh, within Missouri, but by far uh, the CP38E, which is quail safe, is the most popular here in the state. Um, the, the target with CP38 is planting a high diversity planting of native grasses and wildflowers um, that are specifically geared for quail. Um, one thing uh, we're standing in here and uh, we need to look at doing some management here. A good prescribed fire will work really well with this. Um, it's probably been about three, going on three years um, since it's had fire on it. Um, but if we uh, take a look here um, into, the, into the weeds and into the grass, um, we'll, I'll describe a little bit more of what we're talking about on the plant structure. Um, but before we do that, the plant structure, this is designed to have you know, a nice broad canopy as you can see. Um, but when we take a look down into it, uh, there's gonna be wide open ground and that allows the quail and their chicks to move around and move about. All right, so we're back down in here, um, squatted down in the CP38. And one thing I wanted to show you, I um, talked a little bit earlier about plant structure. Um, we've got all varying heights. Um, we've got tall grasses, we have short grasses, we have uh, wildflowers um, all up in here. But one thing, the main component about SAFE is that the bare ground component. So with these natives, um, they grow up in a clumpy uh, nature. And so whenever we're looking um, into these areas, uh, you can see that there's a canopy um, that covers and protects from weather, from predators, avian predators, um, but the bare ground is the main component. And then again, that allows the adults and their chicks to move about. Um, if we look in here, um, we have um, common ragweed, which is a, a main food source for quail. Um, we have several different forbs as well. So we're talking a little bit about plant structure. Um, with, these, with these CRP, 38 CP38 safe uh, plantings it's high diverse that's the target you want native grasses native wildflowers and if we look in here um, we have um, a lot of whenever you do a lot of plantings or disturb the soil you have a lot of annual weeds come up um, right here we have um, common ragweed which is the number one uh, food source for quail additionally one thing that was seeded um, is partridge pea it'll have a yellow flower once it's matured um, and here we have daisy fleabane, which is another annual uh, weed that comes up, which is beneficial. Um, and then finally, um, another thing we have in close proximity is little blue stem. This is the main grass component that was seeded here. Um, we have this year's growth here and then last year's growth um, right above it. Uh, now with, with, these, with these plantings, the target is you know a nice dense canopy over top and then underneath we want to have bare ground. So if we look in here, spread this apart, Although this needs uh, a prescribed fire on it or some sort of management, whether it be disking, spraying, or prescribed fire, um, if you look in here, you can see quite a bit of bare ground. And that is uh, perfect for quail chicks. It allows them to, to move about uh, freely. They're not choked up and trying to run through fescue or, or any of the cool season grasses um, that have been introduced. Um, this is perfect quail habitat. And I don't know if you can hear it, but there's quail calling all around us. Next, we're going to be looking at some other habitat types uh, that we can use for uh, quail management as well as other wildlife. All right, so we're staying in here in a food plot that's been recently planted. Um, I want, while we were out here, I wanted to make sure um, that I touched on food plots because uh, I have a lot of landowners that ask if it's necessary, ask uh, you know why they need to be doing it. Um, but food plots are a good supplemental food source. You know, um, if you have the right habitat, like we looked at a little bit earlier, um, they may not necessarily be needed. Um, but it's definitely a good idea um, if you have uh, maximized on your habitat um, where using this as a supplemental plot, you plant it and then in winter time, whenever the rest of the field, um, the rest of the field in the food source is dead and dormant, you still have your crop here, um, your food plot crop where it'll produce seed. And then in winter time, quail, deer, turkey, pheasants will be in here uh, looking to pick through all the seed and everything whenever food is harder to find in the winter time. All right, so we're back here at a different habitat type. Um, one thing that 
quail need um, is escape cover on top of their nesting, brood rearing habitat, their food plots. Um, but escape cover is one thing that we really try to maximize whenever we're managing for quail. And behind me, as you can see, we have some trees that have been cut down. This is called edge feathering. Basically what you do is you take the edge of a, a fence line or a timber edge and, and kind of feather it out, kind of soften that transition type from you know nice manicured field road like we're standing on the edge of or crop field um, and soften that edge so it doesn't go from that, that you know nice manicured area to straight trees. Um, by doing this, um, you do two things. One, you soften that edge and two, you create escape cover for quail. Oftentimes, um, what we what we do is we'll go ahead and spray out everything that's underneath of it, all your grasses, all using a broad spectrum herbicide, um, all your grasses, wildflowers, whatever's underneath there, um, and then drop the trees, treat the stumps so there's no regrowth. Um, but what you do is you create instant cover. This can be cover for you know thermal cover for in the winter time. This can be uh, predator cover um, because there's not a whole lot of avian predators that will dive down into here to catch a quail or you know mammalian predators will go too far in here to catch a quail so um, what we do with this edge feathering um, is we try to make it a 30 by 50 foot area so 1500 square feet total um, in each of these constructed areas in these structures um, and that's that's the maximized usable space for quail um, and as you can see here um, we have quite a bit of, of, of an annual weed response. We have a lot of giant ragweed that's come up in here, and that's exactly what we want. Um, we want that dense canopy to be able to shield them from the sun during the summertime. Um, we still want to have a little bit of a plant structure in there when we go into winter, give them a little bit more cover for you know thermal and, and uh, predator cover. Um, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll jump in here and take a look so you can see down into it and see exactly what we're talking about. A lot of times, um, People misunderstand. They think these are dense brush piles or dozer piles. That's not what we're going for here. Um, basically what you want to do is construct these to where you can take a softball and toss it up into there and as it bounces around and makes its way down to the ground, that's perfect density. Um, you get too dense, it becomes a predator den and quail won't use it. Um, but if, if you have it too loose, um, you might have some quail using it, some rabbits using it, um, but it doesn't maximize in the usable area. And, and you're just creating kind of a little brush pile. Um, but this is down tree or uh, edge feathering. Another thing um, we call down tree structures. It's practically the exact same as edge feathering, but it's out in the middle of the field. Um, so again, you want that 30 by 50 foot area, um, 1500 square foot, and that's of crown space. We're not counting the trunks because um, you can't really use a trunk whenever you're you're a quail. Um, but this is what we're looking at whenever we talk about woody cover, woody escape cover. We're talking about um, edge feathering, down tree structures, or even shrub plantings.